Hello, hello. I love the hushing. Hello, friends. So I'm Julie Kohlauer. I guess I'm a human being named Julie Kohlauer. Um, I'm also the board chair of the Washington Environmental Council and Washington Conservation Voters. And I am really, really psyched to be here tonight with all of you. As Sasha mentioned, on the stage here with me is President Becky Kelly of the Washington Environmental Council. So before we begin the program, I want to acknowledge that we stand tonight on the Coast Salish land traditionally used by the Suquamish, Duwamish, and Snohomish people that are currently represented by the Suquamish, Muckleshoot, and Tuolumne tribes. Since day one, WEC has been a people-powered movement driven by the issues and places that Washingtonians care about. And that core mission is still the reason we are fighting and winning today. I know that so many of you have invested a ton of energy during the last two years to actively try to move environmental policy forward in the face of ever-increasing threats and rollbacks. And we thank you for all of your work and all of your time. We are so grateful to see how this community and so many of you in this room have stepped up and really leaned into our work. We really couldn't do it without you. So tonight what we're going to hear is from leaders in our state who have chosen this moment to make an impact for Washington. We are super excited to have Ben Steele here from REI. Yay. He's going to share with us how REI has organized the outdoor industry and are taking a stand to fight climate change and protect our public lands. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be amazing. And we're also honored to hear from Senator Mona Doss. Yay. Mona is part of a first year class of the state legislatures. I don't know if everyone's been paying attention to this, but they have lit up Olympia this year by making the environment a top priority, and it's so amazing to see. Um, Mona has graciously stepped in when tonight Representative Deborah Lakanoff, who had planned to join us this evening, had to attend a family emergency. So we're really thankful that Mona could be here. So before we get into the program, I'd like to recognize a few people that are here with us this evening. So first, I want to thank our sustaining sponsors of tonight's event. You can see them there on the slide. Um, Apricadabra Printing, Brighton Jones, Brighton Jones, Magnuson Clemenzik Associates, Microsoft, PCC Community Markets, the Port of Seattle, and Seattle City Light. I'd also like to welcome our first time sponsors, uh, Beneficial State Bank, the Northwest Energy Efficiency Council, and React to Media. So let's join me in a big round of applause thanking these sport sponsors. And then finally, I'd like to thank our supporting sponsors that you can see on the screen there. As well as our contributing sponsors. Several of these sponsors have been with us for many, many years, and we greatly appreciate their dedication. They make this evening possible. Now I'd also like to acknowledge the elected and state officials we have in the room tonight. So if the officials could please stand when I call your name, and audience, if you could hold your applause to the end, actually, I think that might be really hard, but try. If not, that's fine. Um, here we go. So first of all, we have our Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz. <laughs> we, we have our King County Executive, Dow Constantine. We have our director of the Washington State Department of Ecology, Maya Bellin. We have our executive director of the Puget Sound Partnership, Sheeta Sahande.
We have our Executive Director of the Northwest Indian Fisheries Commission, Justin Parker. As I mentioned earlier, we have State Senator Mona Doss, who you'll be hearing from. We have State House Representative Joe Fitzgibbons. King County Council Member Jean Colwells. Port of Seattle Commissioners Fred Fellman and Ryan Calkins. And then Vancouver Port Commissioner Don Orange. Seattle City Council Member Lisa Herbold. Tacoma Council Member Keith Blocker. Blaine City Council Member Alicia Rule. And then lastly, we're also very pleased to have staff from Senator Maria Cantwell's office and Congresswoman Pramila Gigapal's office. So. I think it sort of goes without saying, but the leadership of these elected official, officials, especially in times like these, is so, so important for all of the work that we do. And you know, one more round of applause for everybody. And then lastly, um, I also want to thank all of our table captains, because this room would not be this full tonight without our table captains. So I want to take a moment. <laughs> You're a rowdy crowd already. We like that. <laughs> I want to take a moment, though, to, to quiet down and remember um, a good friend. We want to remember and celebrate Helen Engel, who was a former WEC board chair. Helen passed away at 91 a few weeks ago, and she was an amazing leader for Washington's environment. She wanted to ensure that people had places to experience and enjoy nature. Her husband, Stan, was the backpacker, and he wanted to climb high. But Helen liked the places nearby, the shorelines, the forests, the parks, and the gardens. Her activism resulted in the creation of several parks in Tacoma, including Swan Lake and China Lake and the Snake Lake Natural Preserve. She helped to create many of this state's wildlife refuges, and early on, she waded into the fight to protect the Nisqually Delta. She never left. With WEC, the Nisqually Delta Association, and others, Helen galvanized opposition to proposals for industrial ports that would have destroyed this critical estuary. I know many of you in the room knew her and were probably cajoled by her into doing something that you knew you should do. Um, she nudged. She convinced, she knew when to make a deal, and she was always fighting for her home state and all that it could be and all that it should be. So let's raise our glasses and thank Helen for choosing to make an impact to Helen. Thank you, Helen. Cheers. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight, and please join me in saying thank you to the Convention Center staff from Unite Here Local 8. We really, we appreciate your hard work uh, that helps us enjoy our time together. Thank you. So now please enjoy dinner, talk with your tables. We'll be back in a little bit with our program.